Are you staring at my pineapple right here, right now? Well, unfortunately, you won't get to stare much longer because it's only a one-time show because this pineapple's about to die. Good morning, campers, and welcome back to Lotus Operations to the second part of making our saw blade battle axe that y'all voted on, and that was the winning video. And in today's video, we are going to be now cleaning up the handle and sharpening a blade with a hand file if you have any on hand so let's begin the second part so we can finish this blade and you we can see the finished results okay everybody and welcome back and as you saw before we have this part of the blade done pegged as you can see the peg is now cleaned off the uh, top safety wire is currently still holding and if you do not have a file, then your blade is finished as it is. Now, it's not going to be good now for chopping wood or chopping kindling. And it may be very limited, but it is still effective as a weapon if you need it to protect yourself against animals or any other adversaries at the time frame when things do collapse. But if you do have a way of sharpening it, we're going to hand file this puppy down and we are going to shorten the handle a little bit so it's a little bit easier for me to handle because at this point with it this long, it's going to have to be a double hand like a normal axe. So let's begin the sharpening and the cleaning of the handle. Okay guys, to clean up the handle, we're gonna be using a hatchet and all you're gonna do is shave it down and get it to the point that you need to until you can get it to where it grips easy and done. So we are going to cut this down, shave it up, Now, once you get your handle carved down to about where you want it, except for up here, you want to keep this as thick as possible. Um, you're going to use your knife now, finish cleaning it up so it's not so rough. And then you begin to sharpen your blade if you have the capabilities of doing that. So we're going to get our knife and smooth it down. Hello guys, so after you get it fully shaven down, now you begin the sharpening of your blade if you are able to do the next step. If not, your blade is good. If you want it nice and looking shaven or if you want the rough look, you can leave it as a rough look. But one thing I do have to tell you, it, uh, preferably it's best to wait till the wood is 100% dry to prevent any potential drying cracks from appearing. So in order to reinforce this, I'm going to use safety wire and leather to hold this together if I want to use this further than the video for an actual weapon um, to keep it from potentially cracking as you're impacting it and the stress begins. And it also goes the same as you can see with the wooden peg. It's beginning to dry down this way because either A, the peg put too much stress on the wood or it's just doing it because it's drying. So if you can drill out everything, get everything prepped except for the cut down the middle, except for the cut down the middle until the wood fully dries, that'd be the most preferred weapon if you're going for extreme long use or heavy use. But if it's just a quick short term thing, then wet wood will work and it will work perfectly fine. So let's begin sharpening with our metal file. Okay guys, if you have a place to clamp the blade down, clamp it down. If not, then pre-sharpen your blade ahead of time or find a way to secure this down so that you can sharpen this nice and smooth. And if you have a metal file, I recommend using it. If you don't, I recommend getting one in case you ever do got to make blades when things collapse without electricity. So we are going to angle this down, sharpen the metal until we get to about a 30 degree angle on each and every single one of these teeth. Mm -hmm. oh, that's gonna be loud. Okay guys, as you can see, 
the difference between this blade here and this sharpened somewhat here i'm still working on this though but as you can see i'm getting it to a point here so you're going to work on each tooth each tooth may take about five minutes i find per tooth to get it down if you have to break off these little points here in the beginnings because they will cause a little bit more resistance but about five minute pure tooth depending upon the saw blade and then you'll have your blade sharp, sharp enough to actually cut potentially into wood so i'm going to finish up this entire blade and then show you what it's going to look like after it's done okay guys i've been here for about an hour now um sharpening this blade and this shit's hard i did not realize how hard a saw blade was that shit's pretty damn hard but let's see how well it looks okay everybody so as you can see this is the sharpened side i've been working about an hour on it and as you can see that it's kind of hard to see here that the blades are kind of skinnier than what they are compared to this one here so it is a little bit sharper than what it was before it's not the prettiest in the world but let's see if it does the job now we know this is not going to be actually like a true battle axe status sharpness unless you got like heavy duty grinders and good bits and shit you can sharpen it down with but doing it by hand you're going to get as good as you can get and an hour per side that's a lot of sharpening so and my file is grinding down pretty much a lot so i may have to buy me a new file unfortunately but it's okay that file's like 12 years old so let's do the test against some fruits some wood and some trees and you get the concept of how to make a saw blade battle axe hello everybody and welcome back and here is the test phase we've got our little stick we want to tip the chop with this we got our unlucky pineapple that we want to chop with this right now so as you can see yep yep um it's nice and green so it can be nice and hard and here's our battle axe that we handcrafted over the course of three days um as you can see we're starting to get some dry crack stress stuff in here so we're going to see how well this wood holds up to it now this is not oak wood this is a more of a fir slash maple wood so it could be a weak handle but that's what this channel is about trial and error and see what works and what doesn't work now we sharpened our saw blade which took about uh, about an hour of hand sharpening and we still didn't even get it fine-tuned down to where it's razor sharp but we're going to leave it as it is and our final test to see the structural integrity of the blade is at the tree right there to see how well a wooden peg holds now we know the wooden peg is not going to be as strong as a bolt and nut and i would preferably use bolts and nuts but we're looking at worst case scenario if you do not have bolts and nuts can this hold the saw blade to be good for defense purposes or hunting animal purposes so let's test it starting from the softest all the way to the hardest okay saw blade we're not swinging hard as we can because i do not expect it to pass through this point but i want to see how well it can cut through the pineapple here we go okay as you can see it stopped here but it sliced through the pineapple with no problem and i'm just going to drop the blade now and as you can see, it slices through with no problems. So now the blade's holding, pineapple's good. Yeah, not even ripe. Now we go with the stick. Here we go. Will it hold? We're doing, now see that was even the unsharpened side. Let's see how well the sharpened side worked. We'll just drop it on top. Shoot, I did the wrong side. Oh yeah, look at that. It sliced through like butter. No problem at all. Boom, all the way through. Okay, so now let's take the sharpened side and see if it chops kindling. Oh yes and as you can see the blade is holding the cracks don't look like they're spreading any everything looks structurally sound so let's go to the tree okay 
Hey, it's holding well. The wooden peg holds well. Okay, guys, as you can see, the saw blade actually cut through pretty decent. Our wooden peg looks like it's maybe attempting to try to separate through here, but it still looks like it's holding throughout the entire blade. So a good quick time use. Oh, 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 look. The stress of the tree actually is beginning to crack the handle a lot more than what it was before. So either A, we're gonna have to reinforce that with leather on the top, or we're gonna have to do a bolt, which will actually hold it and keep it from going any worse than what it is. Okay, campers, well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the saw blade, crude saw blade battle ax design that y'all voted on. You saw how effective it was. Would I prefer to do wooden pegs? If I don't have the materials to do actual um, bolts and nuts, Yes, I would do the wooden pegs if I had to. They hold up well, they do fine, but just remember a blade like this would be a short term use unless you really reinforce it extremely well to where it will hold a lot better. But as you can see, I did not tie the upper and the bottom sections as I would if I made a professional version with leather and or other bonding materials to ensure that the wood does not separate. But we can see in its worst case scenario that it does hold up to the test it is effective and it would be a good crude weapon to utilize if things collapse and you had no other forms of way of protecting yourself or hunting so enjoy the videos the next round of voting may potentially be coming up i'm trying to decide what to do and uh stay tuned for more and your choice determines what videos i do lotus operations out